everybody. Um, welcome, Natalia. Yes, um, Matt, thank you for doing this interview. And uh, thank you, Web Summit, for having me. Thank you all for uh, listening today. I want to say that I know a thing or two, but when it comes to technology, I'm here to actually learn from you guys. So I think it's important to say that by the end of this talk, I, um, I would love to have your feedback on LB. You'll hear all about it now. Uh, but after on Web Summit app or on LB.com, please reach out, give us your feedback. It would mean so much to me and my team. Thank you. So you say you don't know much, or you're, you're here to learn about technology, but you've, you've built, you and your team have built a technology platform. Why don't you tell us a little bit about LB, about what it, what it does, what the aim of it is? Yes, I'll actually show LB. It will be even better. But LB is a platform and an app that brings the power of social and digital worlds to charities mm -hmm. in order to connect them with people around the world. Mm -hmm. So LB actually stands for uh, little and big, little actions that make a big difference. Mm -hmm. So I will um, maybe, hopefully this is, will work. We tried it before. So here's, can you see it? Yes, here's, um, here's LB. Uh, and it's actually also a name of this cute little character that you see on the screen. And the way, the way you can do it at the moment, this is MVP, of course. We're starting with something small and tangible and uh, three little deeds that you can do each day that will take you under three minutes to do. You can do them on the go. This is what we are. We are good on the go. So you can do it while on the bus waiting for, uh, for the next um, bus to arrive or on the train or whatever you have a time to have a coffee. And um, today we believe in LB that it shouldn't be just about giving money to create a real impact. You can do other things. Today, with these incredible tools that we have mm -hmm. uh, and technology that we have, we're experiencing uh, facts that we can have smarter homes. We can have technology accessible to us. We don't need to open a huge map in order mm -hmm. to find a way to go. So this is what LB is trying to build uh, for for charities and users, most importantly. So today, uh, charities should be much more personalized mm -hmm. uh, and much more simple to are, do. Are you trying to, I mean, the, 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 the title of this talk is Challenging Misconceptions. Are you trying to challenge misconceptions about charitable giving? What, what, what are, you, are you trying to make it more fun, more accessible? Yes, this is something uh, really important to us, to make it, to make uh, giving uh, really fun and also that charity and this big word philanthropy that it seems to be so un unaccessible mm. to the general public, they say, what can I do? I don't have those millions to mm. give. So here with LB, you can do things like take a photo or vote or write a message, uh, or draw, mm -hmm. and uh, we provide these tools. And uh, so here, for example, um, is three different charities, Post Pals, the Caribou Center, and um, Whisperer. And, and it's three different projects from all over the world. So for example, with Post Pals, if you're following me, yes. So what you need to do is pull a silly face and snap it for Jack. It's, Jack is a, a real little boy um, who is, suffers with cystic fibrosis, and he has been in hospital this week, so our effort would send him these silly pictures like people did over here. You there see you a lot of pe people doing, oh, in, including myself, I've done, yeah, right. done it with someone else's phone. Um, so um, doing silly faces, and you know, Jack will see it. And most importantly for us, that the land, the charity, at this moment of when Jack receives pictures, they will snap a photo and send it back to all the users. So there is a real tangible donor beneficiary connection that's right. really important to us. 
And this is, you know, this is simple tools that we can provide to all our charity partners. Mm -hmm. And to our charity partners, it's really important to be able to have this sort of mobile strategy. Uh, we, we've done the job for them, essentially. And how many charities are you working with on this? At the moment, we just launched one month ago. So right. we are really just starting to crawl, in right. fact, not even walk. Um, uh, so we started with 30 charity partners. Right. And Again, a misconception perhaps about uh, um, modeling or, or, or careers um, that, that models also do, but this is not you just putting your name on something. I mean, you've built this from the ground up, haven't you? We, uh, we've been building this for two and a half years. Right. I, I had the idea two and a half years ago, um, and then it took a time to put a team together and to, um, to really work this out because our ambitions are really big. In order for this to really work, we need millions of users. I mean, it's already working. That's mm. why it was important to work out the MVP and make it right that it's really already compelling and already really inspiring and rewarding for our users. Right. And that's hopefully how we'll, um, uh, the users will coming, be coming back to us because of our charity's genuine, beautiful, um, inspiring stories. Right. But, but the ambition is uh, to make the, uh, this completely much more reactive than proactive and very personalized. So, you know, let's say uh, many of you have uh, something that you care about or maybe a few things that you care about. At the moment, LB cannot provide you exactly uh, only what you care about. Let's say, you know, environment or um, solving cancer, or solving poverty, or children's, or maternal health, whatever it is you care about. At the moment, we cannot just give you this topic and provide incredible journey um, throughout LB just around this course. Mm -hmm. But in the future, when we have thousands of charities, it will make sense for them when we have millions of you users uh, following them, helping them, uh, um, doing content. Mm -hmm. uh, it will make sense for them to connect you even with this one little boy that you want to help uh, daily. Right. And Building this presumably costs money. Did you raise money? Did you put your own money into this, into this platform? At the moment, it was uh, important for me um, to put my own money in it, just because to, to have something to show, to, have, to, to not speak about something uh, that does not exist and that is not really tangible. Here's, mm -hmm. uh, we've built something uh, over two and a half years that people can see and people can already experience. Right. Uh, so yes, I have financed it myself. Right. So it's a very personal project for you? This, I mean, it's, it's a very personal, um, yeah. it's a very ambitious project yeah. indeed, and uh, we understand this. And that's why also in order to be competitive, in order to be very effective, in order to scale uh, in the right way, we need other partners to come in, uh, whether it's uh, technology partners who will, uh, because we want to be ubiquitous. We want to be um, absolutely everywhere. We want to inspire um, other technological startups to, to think um, of how they can affect the world uh, today already by their product, not only with directly what they're doing or right. with the issue that they're tackling, but also with somehow how can we uh, make sure that your users by, you know, let's say, playing your game uh, or, or, or using your product or already somehow helping the causes they care about. Right. And tell me about the people you, you brought in to help because you've hired a couple of some impress, impressive people, haven't you? Yes, it's, uh, well, it's really important in order to, to build something well, and you, <laughs> I don't have to tell you about this, that uh, you need a, um, a really great um, expertise, and I'm certainly not a tech person. I mean, I'm completely a dinosaur when it comes. Even a um, few years ago, I, I didn't even want to be on social media. I didn't understand the benefits of it, and it's actually my co-founder, uh, Timona Finsky, who, um, who brought... Who convinced you. Who convinced me right. that this is the right thing to do uh, for me, uh, not as a personality really, but in order to do my work 
uh, uh, my charity will work more effectively. Right. And, that, and on social media now, how many followers do you have combined? What are the, <laughs> that, that you can drive uh, to that? Because you can use that, can't you? To, sure, to, to sure. raise it's interest really in this. It's very important. Well, between all of them, I, I have about 1.5 million. Right, right, right. And it, you're, you're from Russia, but you, uh, and you, you've worked with um, Eugenia, who ran Facebook and Google in Russia, is that right? Yes, that's right. And, and now she, she's running, she's helping you with this? Yes, Eugenia, Eugenia Maclean, she's, uh, she's our CEO. She joined us um, uh, almost two years ago because she also, um, she, she didn't want to be uh, just a part of a corporate world anymore. She wanted to, uh, she has her own very strong reasons for wanting to be in philanthropic sector mm -hmm. and um, to apply her expertise um, for something that hopefully will change the but world. But she's a legitimate and credible Silicon Valley expert, right? And she's now r helping run this project. Absolutely. Right. Uh, absolutely. And uh, Eugenia has put uh, an incredible uh, team uh, together and we, uh, um, we, we have um, um, Agata Duda, who is here, who is a fantastic um, uh, uh, product um, uh, person, and uh, and we have 12 people team who mm -hmm. work on it full time. Right. And tell me, wh where are you based? Or wh wh where? Um... We're based in London at right. the moment. We do have um, ambition to to move eventually to to Silicon Valley, uh, right. uh, just because it would make more sense and would be easier to to hire talent as well. And it's live in the US and UK, and now, now live in Ireland today, I understand. Yes, so. we, right. we are. We've gone uh, live today in Ireland. Of course, we had yeah, to. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's in the Apple stores, uh, app stores in UK and, and right. US. And something that I wanted to mention before we, um, we got carried away talking about something else, mm. what, what is really um, also um, important f f to know is about um, uh, what we call the love button is, um, you know, to, in, at LB we believe that if you really love something, you have to um, uh, put money behind it. And uh, so it, in uh, LB we have this uh, micro donation, which we call a love button. And so today, not only you can kind of create a f funny, great content, people do drawings, people right. write inspiring, um, uh, inspiring um, uh, sentences, just to give you an example other than uh, about Jack, uh, we um, at the Caribou Center, uh, for the children on the other side of the world who are learning English, mm -hmm. all of us drew an alphabet letters so that they can learn alphabet more effectively. And, and um, then, you know, I, I did my drawings, but I'm not very good at drawings, but there are some people who did just the most amazing, like A for alligator with alligator sort of in the A. And, you know, I, I, I'm looking at it, I, I realize it will be so inspiring and so fun for children to, to learn from a material like this. Right. So I loved all the people that I found inspiring. And, and so let's say here we can go to, my God, this, um, we can go, let's say, oh, this the is a really again. cute face. Elvis friends at Web Summit, yay! Great. So, you know, this is, makes me, of course, really excited and happy as a co-founder of the project. So I will um, tap um, uh, my love button and m make a one pound donation. But donation will go to, to the charity, to the post pals. However, it's, the, it's my friend from Web Summit who raised the money. And we have um, uh, in amazing people who do incredible drawings or amazing sentences who raise a lot of money, mm -hmm. uh, who raise you know, $10 so, themselves. So, really, so they become kind of a mini fundraiser. So really, it's a, the, it's a, to, the platform is, is, the aim of the platform is to help charities monetize or help charities to, to, to raise money in a way that perhaps they weren't able to before. I guess smaller charities too could benefit yes, from this. Yes, I, I definitely, but it's, it's much more than that. It's, uh, ultimately, it's about um, giving us all an ability to do as much good as we can right. in the, the amount of time or the ability that we, we can to, to do this. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's to help the charities. We, um, for our charities, we provide white label app uh, as well, so they can 
so it's really easy for them to uh, to send the feedback. They don't need to sort of do it by email, and they don't need to build their own app. Mm. And for some small uh, charities out there, this is something really important. And also being a platform, I, uh, uh, it's, it's really important because today, um, as you all know, this is a market space. So we cannot, even if you want to follow 10 charities, it's, it's, it's really unlikely that you will go on 10 apps every day. Right. However, you can be effective on LB because you will see and be able to uh, do something good every day. Mm -hmm. And what, what, um, how do you balance this with your modeling career? Because you're still modeling and working very hard, and I, I wonder how you cram everything in at the, at the same time. I mean, yes, I also sounds have like a pretty a, crazy existence. I but. also have my own, my own charity, right. Naked Heart Foundation in Russia. So, uh, and four children to, to look after. Uh, yes, not to mention. Yes. Absolutely, a big family. For me, it's all about, it's, it's difficult. At times, it's very, very difficult, and I get very, very tired. Um, I, I'm quite good at delegating. Uh, not my children, <laughs> but, uh, but my, um, my work, uh, Naked Heart Foundation been around for 11 years. I have an incredible team there. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm more, I moved to a position of a um, chair, and uh, it's much easier for me to, um, to, to, to do that. Can and you tell and us my, a modeling, my modeling only takes me, I calculate it, about two months a year. Right. So I have uh, quite a lot of um, free time left to, to, to do my, because my real passion um, is, um, is philanthropy. And can you tell us about Naked Heart Foundation? What, what, uh, sure, thank for the, you. For those who don't, who don't know about thank it. Thank you for asking. Naked Heart Foundation um, is there to provide um, uh, essential support to families raising children with special needs. Mm -hmm. It's a very personal story. Um, I, um, my, my sister was born when I was six with um, autism and cerebral palsy, and as a result, my mom was a single mom raising us alone, um, having not, no, not having an ability to have a permanent job. And, and I worked since I was 11 years old and um, much you know, harder work than I, than I do today. Today my work is inspiring and it's uh, about surviving too, but in a, in a different way, surviving for others in a way, you know, about fighting. Uh, right. Uh, to, to help others, um, and so this is much more positive than than. Uh, but my my work ability has stayed with me from mm. my childhood, I guess. Right. But this, but the idea came from a very personal experience in a very personal place. Yes, it's always like like this uh, with me. This is uh, my intuition. Is um, I feel it's uh, my 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 biggest um, friend and right. uh, my biggest advisor I, I listen to my intuition and I follow it right and I guess so a naked heart foundation um, well and and others I guess that the, as, we, as we wrap up I mean the, the purpose of this platform is to help people engage with with these with with charities and with causes that they feel passionate about and that's what LB that's what LB is doing you, you know if you think about it um, my, there is um, there is few frustrations that I have and why I started LB um, one of them is um, there is as a Naked Heart Foundation uh, founder uh, and it's a really large organization in Russia we work with a lot uh, smaller organizations who struggle constantly struggle for um, attention and uh, support and visibility and they're the ones who we respect, who we look up to, who we consider the ones doing absolutely incredible in the field work. And uh, so my passion is to give the smaller charities um, uh, this opportunity that right. uh, someone uh, like Naked Heart Foundation has because of me. Today, LB can be uh, their ambassador in right. a way. So um, this is one. And then a second, it's, um, it's actually a social media because uh, not social media as such, because it certainly has a, a, an incredible role to play, but um, social networks is not a good place for charities. It's, right. it's not a good place for us. It's not a good home to, to philanthropy because it makes a lot of noise and our very compelling message gets lost in it. I just, um, me and uh, all of us at LB, we want to uh, 
build a new community, like there is a community for professionals with LinkedIn, uh, 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 like there is um, uh, Facebook for your friends and family, um, and getting your news and, right, right. and updates, and uh, like your Instagram for sort of uh, inspiration and, uh, and immediate, um, um, uh, as well, you know, your, your imagery uh, world. We want to build a community uh, around what you care about, and, and so you can have this discovery of your, let's say, digital twins on the other side of the world who care about the same thing. You can join forces. I mean, this is just incredible that this is not not yet really used for the most important is for making this world a better place mm -hmm. for our future generations and right. uh, this is what we're trying to tackle and and just to say you know uh, love button um, the power of uh, you said you know indeed fundraising is important and when you think about the fact that uh, like button just on Facebook is pressed four billion times a day and, and more elsewhere throughout other uh, social media, then if you think that even a 10% or even, you know, at some point 1% of this could happen daily on, on something like LB, still as fun, still as rewarding, yeah. it's just one pound, it's just one dollar, it's a micro donation, uh, we can all do this at least once a week and um, uh, this is, could create by joining us all together, joining our forces, which we can do uh, through internet, mm -hmm. we can create a real impact. Well, we're out of time, but I thank you so much. I wish you all the best with LB. Can we have a round of applause for Natalia, thank please? You. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you.